video is going to be from one of the video games I've been playing a lot lately. It's from, as you can see, Fortnite. We're going to be making the supply or loot llamas, but as a piñata sugar cookie. So there's going to be three layers of sugar cookie with a little hole in the center to be a piñata. As always, all the recipes and everything you're going to need is in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this loot llama. We're going to start with some sugar cookie dough. I'll leave my recipe down below, but you can use any that you like. You want to try to avoid one that will raise too much. You want to make sure this llama keeps its shape, roll it out, and then with the template of the llama, you're just going to trim out the cookies that you need. I will leave a template on my Facebook and the link for that will be down below. So carefully trim this out with a knife. And do three of them and one of them you're going to put a hole in it. That way we can have the piñata cookie. And then you're going to need a template of the side display as well as all these colors of the fondant. You're going to need a blue, light purple, a grayish one, a light blue, and a brown. Start by rolling out the blue and this one we're going to use for the legs and for two rows of the paper mache design. I used a ruler to make sure I cut out the exact same size fondant that I needed. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. I cut about three to four strips of three to four inch fondant. I'm going to cut them in half and then I'm going to do, do the detailing on it and I also cut a couple uh, inch to two inches and this will be for the head part. If you want to wrap the piñata cake from side to side, you're going to want it to be longer. I just did it so that the top has the design. So you can see I repeated this with all the colors. And then with a little bit of buttercream or you can make royal icing depending on what you have. You can start gluing the cookies together. I did the bottom layer here, put that middle part, added my sprinkles to this, and then with that buttercream or royal icing, glued that top piece onto this, and there's your piñata loot, and there's your pin and there's your piñata llama, Pin and there's your piñata llama, pin piñata, that's very difficult to say. Let it dry and then to do the top part, I'm going to add a little more buttercream on there and with the purple fondant, I'm going to glue this on or start putting that on and this will be for the head detailing. And then with that blue fondant, I started covering the legs. As you can see, he has blue legs and then brownish little stumps as well. Again with buttercream. I glued that on, smoothed it out, cut off any excess, and there's one leg. Once you have all four legs covered, start rolling out that brown fondant and then square it off. And we're going to glue this onto the stumps of the leg. I used some clear vanilla extract, but you can use vodka or anything with a high alcohol content. It will evaporate. It glues quickly and dries quickly. And then repeat this step with all your legs, add that brown stump onto all of them. And then for the body part, I added buttercream again, and if you have royal icing, use that. Smoothed it out and stuck the purple fondant onto that. This will help to stick the fondant onto the body better. You can use the clear vanilla extract to glue on the frilly pieces. So here I'm starting with my purple. And I'm going to be doing two per row. So I'm going to do one light purple and then do another light purple on top of that. And then I just kept following the design and did two dark blue on top of that. Did the light blue on top of that. Then the light purple again. And then finished off with that dark blue. Then for the neck, I started with the light purple and just kept stacking them up. As you can see, this is where I was saying that you can keep them longer so that you can cover the sides as well. But I just did the top part. Once you have all those on, we're gonna do the detailing. I got some strips of the brown fondant and added the, the little straps that he has on his head. And since I couldn't find my eyeball candies, I had to improvise, so I did a little bit of buttercream on there. And then for a little extra detail, I added a little bit of white fondant onto his mouth to give him that underbite, the teeth that he has there. This is optional, but you can add it if you'd like. And then finally, I'm painting on the detailing for that side. It has different designs depending on what the supply is. For here, I just added that arrow since that's the basic look that he has. So here, I'm just painting on all of the details, the line work, the arrow, the locks, the everything that is on there. I did this with a fine paintbrush and some food, black food gel. I just painted that on. And 
And finally to glue it on, I did some clear vanilla on top, stuck that on, and with the back of the paintbrush, just tried to try to position it well and stick it on well. And here's that final loot llama or supply llama. I also cut it to show you how the pinata effect is. So once you open it, the candy start coming out, as you can see here. And that's how you make your pinata loot llama. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was absolutely so much fun to make, a lot of hard work. I hate having to cut open the desserts after I make them because you put so much into it and then you just break them apart. I broke it and I have the fondant work right here left over. But if you want to see pictures of the llama and everything I make, I do post on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Facebook and all that is down below. If you want to suggest something else, leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're over Fortnite, thumbs down. If you enjoy my content, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post a new recipe. Links to my Twitch and Patreon are down below. And until next time, stay sweet.